Hi, my name is Angelo Scudero with Porsche of Nashville, and I am the shop foreman here. Um, today I'm going to do a quick five-point tech tip for your winter storage. Uh, the first thing that we like to do is always recommend to use our Porsche battery maintainer. And basically what I have here is it's set up already. The main thing that you want to remember is that you initially plug it in to the vehicle. And this is the actual charger. So when you first plug it in, you're going to get a yellow light right on the charger to let you know that it's got connections. And then the second thing you're going to do is plug it into the wall. And once you do that, you'll see a change. So that now, once you hit the mode button to select your vehicle, it changes over so that now you're on your car and this basically shows you that it is plugged in and it is charging. When that changes over to green, that's when you know it's fully charged. However, you want to leave it plugged in because that's how it will maintain the battery so that it doesn't lose any charge. So the next tip that we always recommend to our customers with these cars is on the sidewall of the tire, there's an actual spec that tells you to not go beyond as far as tire pressure and it'll always be specified by max pressure and it's usually in parentheses and that's what we tell our customers to put the tire pressures to when they go into storage and that eliminates any chance of getting any flat spots so on our third tip the other thing we like to mention is that it's really not a good idea to leave the ignition key in the ignition switch because by doing so it'll always keep all the systems in the car live and by doing that it puts a big draw on the battery which even though the maintainer is hooked up it's not capable of maintaining that with the key in the ignition so we always tell everyone to make sure that leave the keys out of the ignition and keep all the doors and lids closed when the car is not in use mm -hmm. so on our fourth tip we know all of our customers love to keep their cars clean which is great the biggest problem we see is when the cars get stored, they typically get washed and then they immediately get put away, which is fine. However, you end up building up rust on the rotors just from that water sitting on the rotor not being dried off. So we make a recommendation to, even if you just did a lap around the block just one time, all the water that's on those rotors and inside, all the cross drillings will dry out. And this way you don't have to worry about running into any brake pulsations in the summertime because as an example from this car, it's just sitting coming back from our wash bay, you can see the rust that builds up. And it's typical of these rotors because they're so large to have this happen. Um, so it's always a good idea to take it for a spin around the block. So on our fifth and final tip that we always recommend to our customers is change the oil. It may seem silly to put fresh oil in a car that's just going to sit around. But when you drive your car all summer long, all the things that go, all the impurities and everything, they end up sitting in the oil for the three, four months that you end up leaving the car in storage and all those impurities will affect the aluminum in the engine and all the different components that really do the most harm when you're not using a car. So at best you must change your oil before you park it and this way in the springtime you have nothing to do. Hop in the car and go for your first ride and there's nothing to take care of. And that's it. So those were, those were our five tech tips. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, please give us a call. We're at Porsche of Nashville.